All right, here we go. Time for the podcast. Finally, I'm streaming on the uh, the Streamlabs OBS instead of the regular OBS. So here we are. Now I can just see the chat all the time now, so I don't have to like have like the uh, the other chat box on. Honestly, so that's perfect, I guess. Uh huh. And uh, so, uh, I'm pretty sure you already know about the whole, uh, the topic of the discussion that we're about to do today. Now, just to scroll up a couple of, uh, to the point around 1.30 a.m. yesterday, topic oh. of the podcast. Okay. Don't know if I can. Uh, this or question. I pinned it. I think I pinned it too. Just in yeah. case. Yeah. Give me one. So weird. <sighs> okay. Um. I'm trying to answer the question. I'm trying to figure something out really quick. Mm-hmm. I didn't. Sucks. I've had that calculator forever. Okay, here it is. Okay, and then don't start it just yet, can you? Or well, have you started it? I started the stream right now. Oh, darn it. Okay. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. So, mm-hmm. the podcast topic is top three waifus and the Pokemon. Mm-hmm. What's your top three Pokemon waifus? I'm going to let you answer because I don't... <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it's been difficult. Deciding mm-hmm. on who's like the three type waifus and the reason why they're my three type waifus. Um, one, I don't know. It's it's like, who would be my main top like number one waifu, and then on top of that being like the two side waifus. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, this could I be will say that from- Misty was, Misty was the original life of like everybody. Uh, uh, and then it was Lorelai. Uh, I don't even think Misty would be considered my waifu at all, not at all. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was like the main girl for Ash's like whole section of everything. And yes, she does have like water Pokemon, but I mean, mm-hmm. I wouldn't consider her like the main waifu generally in that area. Mm-hmm. Um. Shoot, what's what's that one character's name? I'm gonna have to like bring up characters now. I'm gonna have to go up on Google and Google theme characters. Let's see, because I think Survey has a list of it. Mhm. It's good that Survey always or manga. Character uh, Um Let's see. Uh 
I will say the first waifu that would be like my main top waifu mm -hmm. would have been take a breather for this one. It's gonna be pretty hilarious. Okay. It's gonna be Ash Ketchum's mom. <laughs> okay. So now the reason why I chosen Ash Ketchum's mom to be one of the the main waifu mm -hmm. uh, is because that she cooks, she does everything as you know a mother would do or, or a wife would do. She pretty much does everything that is considered of a waifu. Mm -hmm. So that's why I would keep her as the number one main waifu. Yeah. Um, now, for the side waifus, being the two side waifus that I have as either number two or number three, that's a hard one. Because um, anybody could pretty much fill that second or third row as to a female counterpart I will say probably probably crystal okay crystal will be number two for the being the second waifu being the side waifu the first the second waifu um, and then May <laughs> so that's my main three Okay. You, I don't remember anybody. And that's why I'm like, hmm, I just remember. That's why I pull up the freaking Serbi. You gotta pull up Serbi for that. <laughs> um, let's see what we got. We have Serena. Uh, Serena. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? What happened here? What? Uh, eh, okay. I've lost all hope of any sort of. There's character bios. Mm -hmm. There's May. There was. Dawn, Iris, James. Or not James. Jesse, Serena, who is Bianca? I forgot uh, who Bianca is. Yeah, because I forgot about the universe region. Mm. Um, some of these I'm like me. Okay, no, I'm good there. Who's the new one? The new water gym trainer. Uh, hold on. Let me unmute. Hello? Yeah, there you go. I'm Hello. here. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right. Who am I talking to? Who, this who is just King. joined? Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right, then you answer, because I don't know. Okay, so, Keen. <clears throat> what is your three top... Waifus, Pokemon waifus. Good. I repeat You're... that. Okay, so what is your top three Pokemon waifus? What's your main number one waifu in Pokemon, and who's your two side Pokemon waifus? Sorry, I might be new to this. <laughs> so this is like your anime waifu, like your, you know, if you had like an anime wife. Mm -hmm. But for this is for Pokemon. Easy. Easy. Hmm. Hmm. Um. 
like Misty and May in them. Mm hmm. Oh. Definitely bad. Double war. Class. Gotta go to OG. Gotta go to OG. And Misty will be inside. Yes, but. Mm. Those only two I really know. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Oh, we're we'll trying to get everybody else to come up here, but I'm just trying to see what the final answer was for. Stormtrooper Blastoids and see what his male waifu is. Um, we'll just say Nessa for now. <laughs> and then his side waifus. Um, other than that, the majority of what the second topic was is mm -hmm. trying to figure out uh, we'll not figure out because this is more of a question for uh, for Keen for most of the topic mm -hmm. has to do with the uh, the Flash the TV show have he been watching the Flash and Arrow and Supergirl maybe Oopsies. Okay, there's a lot of static going on to your mic. Are you using your headphones? <laughs> Barely. Yeah, there's a lot of static coming from your side. Hopefully it's not the internet that's messing with it, but it's literally nothing but static coming from your side, King. Hi, friends. Hey. So, still having trouble figuring out what the second or two si your two side ones. So, I'm so on halfway. Mm. Misty and Sissy. Mm. I remember when I was a kid. Uh, and can you do you know what's been going on with the? Have you been watching The Flash? I'm assuming that's be yes. You've been watching The Flash and all the new stuff that's going on with The Flash. I'm pretty sure that's probably it. Um, I don't know if you watched The Flash. Uh, nope. Nope. Okay. So, here's the thing what's going on with The Flash. is basically they're doing a crisis on infinite earths. It's a mm -hmm. really good uh, comic book on that series where it explains that all the characters from the superhero universe are going to be in a huge fight with other superhero characters from different multiverse. Uh-huh. Um, but they're trying to fix this one big bad villain to save the whole entire universe until everything starts to crash up onto them. So... Okay. That's the whole point of that situation and so for the show it's gonna have to do with a bunch of crossovers between the flash arrow being the green arrow okay. supergirl and then you have the batwoman the new tv c series um what what other show was it they put up on here um they also have, 
I'm blanking on another show. Oh. There's DC Legends that they're doing a crossover with. So they got all these bunch of shows. Even they're starting to pit in like some of the old type uh, movies and shows onto the crossover as well. Like the Smallville series that they're mm -hmm. going to put into the crossover. They got the old Flash coming over to the new TV series. They also have the Kingdom Come Superman from the movie onto the show as well. So they kind of have it. They're also trying to figure out if they could get Wonder Woman onto the show. They're trying to get the Black Lightning onto the show as well. So it's just a huge, a huge, huge uh, collab that they're trying to get all the people from those different type of shows onto the main show. Is it still static? No. It's a, It's not static now. Um. Yeah. So, have and you been sorry. keeping? Sorry, I'm so sorry. Yeah. All right. And I have not been keeping up with the Flash, but I am currently watching it right now with mm -hmm. this African American guy named Chester. So I'm going to be catching up on that. And Arrow, I am excited for because I know every episode is definitely going to be a crossover mm -hmm. and building up to the major crossovers. Mm -hmm. um, also, I was meaning to talk to you about. A little spoiler of what's going to happen. I don't know if you want to talk about that right now. I heard something about possibly Barry and Oliver switching bodies. And that's going to be the reason that Flash is going to die instead of Barry. Because they currently switch bodies already in the last crossover. So that might happen again. So that might be the reason why... Arrow leaves because you know this is Stephen Emil's last season with Arrow, so that might be a way how they kill Arrow off instead of Barry. If that makes sense. Mm. Well, I don't know because it already still seemed like what they're trying to get across <clears throat> is the fact that either way, Barry's gonna die. And that's that's the common goal here is Barry is always gonna eventually die in the crossover. But we don't know which Flash is gonna really technically die. But even though the Flash did see all the possible futures, he only seen one future with him not in it, and that saves the universe, apparently. So even if they did kill off the uh green arrow we don't we don't really think they're gonna really be able to like kill off the green arrow because it's just like and if they did switch bodies on top of that it's like what would be, what would be the actual point of that because it's not like you don't think barry could actually see iris after that whole entire switch you know that is true. Mm -hmm. That is true. From the last time, it was already still awkward as it enough it was in that whole entire Switch episode. So, yeah, that that should be weird if that if it goes down to that point. So, uh, even if it's like a what is it like a rumor that that's about to happen? It's a rumor, but I, cause it's only because my sister told me to read the comics before, uh huh, before watching it. But okay, but then you think about this: is this this is CW, and CW kind of does 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 that thing where it's like, eh, we don't follow plot points, so eh. It is, it's kind of iffy. It's kind of iffy. Especially since they don't really follow by plot point. They kind of make up their own thing. 
and change a lot of things in it. Like, like the, again, like I was explaining the whole concept of uh, the red, the uh, the one uh, version of Flash. We don't know if we're gonna get the whole mixture of Batman and the Flash together in a you know DC universe like that. They're gonna probably just make up a character and say, "Oh, here, here's this character who's not between the Flash and Batman all in one." No, no, no. We're gonna give you something completely new, completely different. And and one hand, it's like, "Oh, okay. Well, that kind of sucks." Like I was kind of expecting to have Batman mixed in with the Flash as a super villain in this show. But you're not gonna give me that. Uh, all right, I guess. But the show is not following the exact formula to how the comic books are. So, even though this is rumored, I don't think it's gonna be true. If it is based off like how they were trying to do it off the comic books. Because everything they do is not really based off how the comic books were. And that's a problem with DC for the most part. Because DC doesn't really do everything towards how the comic books are. And they're kind of like, it's their adaptation of what that will look like in reality compared to an actual comic book version so lately the episode's been good so that's a good thing for the flash but we're still having that issue where not everything is exactly how it's supposed to be kind of triggers a lot of fan base still again the show is not bad finally the season that's actually decently better but hey it is what it is. But any other thoughts on that? I don't watch The Flash, so that's why I'm largely like really silent right now. Mm. It's a good episode right now. Um, we'll see. We'll see right now. It's still kind of early in the, episode, in the season because usually The Flash is enemy and then towards the end it turns out to be kind of somebody else but we'll see how it go because I know that they're going to do a lot of crossovers this season so mm -hmm. there might be a lot of different plot twists and different yeah. stuff from other episodes that you guys have kind of watched that's going to link in so when I watch Arrow it might come together yeah and again that's why they're bringing all these other people into it so eventually it's gonna be like well either way we're gonna figure it out i don't think all the characters are gonna die right off but it's just one of those things where it's like oh something might happen it could be either for the better or it could be for the worse for the most part <clears throat> Never for the worst, but we, we shall see what the Steve Rose Rider is doing. Yeah, and then, uh... Never, I don't know, point for me. Mm. Oh. And Killer Frost is now calling herself Frost now. So, that's a good thing. So now we got regular Frost instead of Killer Frost. So... I think they're gonna eventually make her the character for like I don't know because it still seems like she's gonna still be like a bad guy but also still be one of the good superhero type characters but it's hard to see it in this situation that they're trying to do Shit. <clears throat> right now she's because I'm still I'm not too far into it, so yeah. I'm kind of seeing the build up of it. But mm -hmm. I don't know if they keep her good. I I can agree with it. They turn her bad. 
Yeah. I can I can agree with it also, but they turn her bad. I don't see her living too long. Mm-hmm. Because I don't see them killing off Caitlyn, but I see her getting rid of killing Frost for the better of the of the team or something. You get what I'm saying? Cause yeah. If she's good, she'll be around. But if she's bad, they're not going to kill off Caitlyn. But it will suck to see Killer Frost gone. But uh, either way they go, we'll be pretty good with it. But yeah. I shall see how they 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 kind of run the arc with her character. Mm-hmm. But positive things in the future for me. Yeah. Most definitely. Yeah, because just because how they've been running her character the last, like, two years of the mm. build-up of her be- not being Killer Frost too much and then becoming one, I don't see them, like, kind of just erasing all of that just for this. Just so, because, yeah. Yeah, I see it more of a bigger picture of giving more of a Killer Frost story or more of a just a Frost story. Yeah. And, again, this is... Where I'm thinking, like, are they gonna start doing a live action Justice League anytime soon? Because if that's the case, because Killer Frost is becoming like a good hero character, uh, she's eventually gonna not be part of the Team Flash series for like that long. I'm pretty sure once, like, Everything sits, starts, you know, like starts situating itself out. She is eventually just gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna be doing my own thing. She's not gonna be long, no longer part of Team Flash, and it it is what it is. So that's another thing that I'm hoping that will happen is like, okay, no longer part of Team Flash, but I can still do a superhero thing. Same thing as everybody else is just making their own past. She can separate herself from the Flash. It's gonna eventually lead out to going being just uh, the Flash and Iris because it will be, that will be the only considered Team Flash. And maybe we're gonna get our kid Wally, like our actual like Wally West character on top of that. Because that's what a lot of people were hoping to get are the the uh, the other Wally West character. So hopefully that happens. Or get Bart. Or yeah, we could probably get Bart, but I don't know if they're gonna bring back the 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 guy from um the small the Smallville uh TV series Bart. Yes, yeah, because I don't. How CW is, I don't see them changing Wally's unless they do a whole different timeline thing. But I don't see them changing characters, so they just might do another. I feel like it's one of those things where, okay, here's here's, uh, Wally West who's basically either in the timeline or he comes from another Earth. Or he came from another Earth. And that's how that happens. The same thing with Bart Allen. Bart Allen might just be like, oh, I'm just going to cross over and here I am. Or he's going to be coming in with Superman from the Smallville series. And then, there you go. Now you have your Bart Allen going to be either helping out the Flash. And he's going to become Kit Flash. But then there's also the fact that uh, the Wally West from probably another timeline or different universe, or he is in the exact same timeline, who eventually does pick up the uh, the mental of Kid Flash, might be able to be the secondary Kid Flash that we needed. Um, That's and- true, but. Or, or man, I would love Finn, and they do um, uh, what's the other species name? Johnny Quick, not Johnny Quick. Um, I think so. He has like the Speed Force formula. That oh, you mean like how another guy that they could put there? Uh, like how they were doing with Jess 
quick uh, basically yeah. how her like whole background but even though you have the uh, fact that Wells is technically her father it's not her father and whatnot type situation and then we get the speedster from that but then it's just like in that sense it's like okay it could work it probably won't they might add that character in they're probably not gonna add that character in and the last time they added a new flash character we have no information about that flash character from a different earth or just bring Jesse back. That'd be pretty cool too. Yeah, they could bring Jesse back. But then, hey guys, other than I gotta that, disconnect really quick. All right. Or I gotta disconnect. I gotta get out. Okay. So I'll see you guys next time. Mm-hmm. All right, man. Uh. But yeah, there's the whole situation where Jesse and Wes and uh, was it Wally West was also in a different uh. I think they were in Earth 2 or Earth 3. Earth 2. They were Earth 2, right? Okay. So, I know you haven't caught. I think you probably caught up with the uh, Arrow. Have you caught up with Arrow? Have you seen like the last episode of Arrow? Please let me know you caught up with the last the arrow. Oh no, I haven't. I just started. I just started watching the Flash and everything. Dude. Honestly, like yesterday, I just remembered the Flash came on again. Because mm -hmm. honestly, I was waiting. So you're you really was late with the with the Flash episode because that the the last like like Flash came on first and then it was Arrow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying like I'm literally sitting right now watching it as Iris walked and talked to Chester. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So I don't want to spoil it for you, but. I'm just trying to see if you remember if, uh, if um, Jess and Wally West was in Earth Two. Um, just Jesse. Wally went off to do his own thing. Ha. Huh. Cause, cause remember okay. he said he had to go find himself and then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just let you like catch up on. Both of those, those both of those shows, because uh, it kind of like dawned on me a little bit what happened in the Arrow show, knowing the fact that she was just in Earth Two. So I just don't want to like completely spoil that for you at that moment. Um, that makes sense. Um, that means you also, are you going to be eventually watching the other shows for their crossover? Everything. Okay. So that means, everything for the that means you also got to watch Black Lightning. <sighs> a show that you should have been watching that kind of just irks me a little bit that you haven't watched that show. It's a great show because you haven't watched Because it. they said it wasn't connected. But now no. There was a picture. They're connected, all right. There was a leaked footage. They're connected. Hands down, connected. They're going to eventually do an episode with them all together. They're connected. <laughs> they finally they finally got an exception from from their from that show saying that they are going to be connecting. And especially since it is a CW show they're gonna connect so that's another thing so I can't wait till that happens when they pull up a show of that episode where uh, he finally comes to that particular 
uh, the Flash series. But there was a leaked photo that presumably had that character there, or he was he was in that show. That's why I want you to watch that show. Well, it looks like I will be watching Black Lightning. Mm-hmm. So that's that's I'm telling you, man. You need to be definitely watch that show because that show is the most litish show. I have ever watched in my entire life. I when when um I guess I could say his name since he is he technically is not a YouTuber but he's a reaction on a YouTube channel. He's a reactor, Sergio. Since Sergio is a rea a reactor on the uh, FBE, technically uh, he said that it was kind of more of a black show. The way he thinks it is, it's kind of like more of a black show, and I kind of agree to disagree on that, where it made it seem like it could I be disagree. a black show. Yeah, it kind of made it seem like it would be a black show, but it's not. I don't feel like it is. It's just it's one of those shows that you have to just look past it because it is technically it's still a superhero show. But it does give that black, uh, that black people type show, uh, how, how would I say It's it? only because Field. it's a prominent most African American cast. It's yeah. just led by African American cast. But even them, you can't say that because The Flash, most of their characters are people of color. Yeah, exactly. Iris, yeah. Joe, mm -hmm. Rosesco, Wally West. You know, Wally. You know, so it's not like. It's it's, it's, yeah, it's really not like you that. You can't say that. You really can't. And that was the main problem that I was like, okay, yo, Sergio, just go ahead and just watch the show. Just move past the whole mentality of that because then it's like it sounds like you're racist but you're not so it's just just watch the show and I kind of want to tell him that just just watch the show you're you're gonna miss a good portion of this show just watch it you know accept it you know um, what other things about it? so again again like I said the show is good it's like what is on this like third season or something like that. I believe it's on its third season. I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to remember. Um, if I could look it up, it is on its third season. So I mean, you do have time to like, I guess, uh, what's the word? I can definitely binge watch that. You definitely could binge watch it. And I think for like the... How many episodes in season one? So there's 13 episodes in season one. There's 16 episodes in season two. And we just got to the third episode in season three. So you definitely could binge watch that. And get through it and be done. That's definitely easy. I can knock that out. Yeah. So it's not truly bad. It's 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 like that, and that's it. I mean, you definitely cannot binge watch uh, Smallville because that's a lot of shows to go through, and that's like ten seasons worth of shows. You definitely can't binge watch that. It's like watching One Piece. It's it's, it's, it's like it's like watching One Piece or watching uh, Naruto. You just you don't want to binge watch that at all. You really mm. don't. I've been watching Naruto, so I can't say that. Well, yeah, because Naruto had like a lot more seasons onto it. But I mean, like by the time that the new show comes out, I don't think you'd be able to like catch up on that particular series to get you into the crossover just like that. Also, Naruto cliffhangers at the end. 
oh. just made you want to watch another one. So like every twenty minutes, you can just knock it out like boom, boom. Yeah, I'm sure Smallville's about forty five minutes. So it's like yeah, and there's oh. it's it's and then the thing about how the show ends, the show doesn't really end with a cliffhanger that much. So you wouldn't really like get a know okay what's gonna be the next episode about because it's just a random thing that happens in the show and they don't have it like fully story based at all so it's just like one of those things where like okay here's a new day here's a new problem here's a new day here's a new problem type situation with that show um yeah so I mean, eventually they do get to a point where they is a little bit more story based, where there's not that much issue and like, like new issues are new like problems that they have to figure out. Um, but I wouldn't say it will be all on season one and two. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be not into like mid season three, like mid like ending of season three they probably get a little bit more story base heavenly story base on the character but even then it's like that's a still a lot of seasons to go through especially if it's like 40 minutes episodes like 40 plus minute episodes and again it's 10 seasons so trying to go through all that And I think there's like maybe like 20 something episodes per episode. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like in that Flash where Flash is like 23 episodes or something like that. Basically, like that. You have to go like a good amount of episodes trying to figure out what's what. And definitely have to talk to somebody just to have a second thing going mm-hmm. on. Um. Oh, here's another show that we could talk about, other than the whole Flash that I just remembered that's now uh put up at this moment. Uh, The Walking Dead season ten. The Walking Dead season ten. Have you been watching? It? Come on, man. You know that's you know that's my religion. <laughs> man, the last episode yeah. though. So, I'm going to say this is probably the best season, and I say that almost every other season. But man, starting this season already is just like it's crazy. We coming straight at you, like yeah. It was just like we coming straight at you because when they were just sending the hordes, exactly. I was like, I cannot imagine what's going on right now. Like it was nonstop. It was just like, like they just calculated and just sent out a bunch of zombies one at a time, and it was just like making no sense. Like, what's going on? Are they coming here? Are they about to start something up? It looks like they're about to start something up because they just sent another wave of zombies from the backside. Like, okay, you know, something's about to happen. And then they finally get to the point where it's like, okay, we need to talk, you know. So, it's it's kind of crazy. It's really kind of crazy how that whole also, situation. I'm trying to see the high whole dynamic of Alpha and Beta, how that's going to play out. Because yeah. I like how their backstory is playing out right now, too. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. It's very interesting. His, whole, his learning why he wore that shirt and the Pacific mask makes it a little more, I don't want to say creepier, but heartfelt and yeah. understanding. It, it's giving him more of a character, more of instead of just being just there yeah he, he he just got a good uh character development or backstory to his character mm-hmm. and it's like oh and that that's why true. he wears this this is why he's in his situation that he is in now because of that and all you can feel is heart feel for that character now 
but it's like am I really feeling a heart you know feeling sorry for someone who's technically just killed another son like like what like like you killed the stick boy like how killed the man guy who who loves one of the girls and then you just kill them off like that it's kind of fucked up don't you think <clears throat> but whatever okay. they the walking there is on a great yeah I mean, I just feel like great. certain characters shouldn't get killed off. Honestly, certain characters should not get killed off. It's it's kind of annoying to see that fact that this character got killed off. He didn't need to be killed. Off. And I feel like they did that for a reason because they know that we're getting a little bit attached to that character, so they like oh. Someone's getting too attached. Kill him off. Kill him off. Just kill him off. Let's go ahead and kill him off. They're getting too attached. Yes. Let's go ahead and kill him off. Yes. But I don't know right now who is going to probably leave this season mm -hmm. because it's a toss up at this point. Because I'm not going to say anybody can go, but I, I don't Going, oh man. Yeah, I mean, he's not going to be drastic, but they only take like probably good one or two. True, and I think uh, what you call it is leaving what like season eleven, right? Um, Michelle, right? Oh, I heard Michelle leaving, but I also heard Maggie coming back. Mm. So I would say probably probably season eleven is where. Michelle leaves and then Maggie comes back. Yes, because I don't see Michonne dying, so I Yeah, I don't I don't see it. yeah, I don't see her dying too probably like the the eleventh season at at the most. But man, that's gonna be insane because now we also have to figure out how the daughter is gonna handle that situation is she gonna cry is she not gonna cry is she gonna be as brave how any other person would have been brave during that situation of her Judas dying. Gonna grow up. yeah are they gonna do like oh, another looking time at skip oh I'm sorry quick question look at this commercial you got the new Call of Duty right uh no Whoa. I do not have the new Call of Duty. Now the reason why I don't have the new Call of Duty is because one, I have to buy the new uh, Pokemon game for that comes out, and right now my money's kind of a little bit tight, so I cannot buy the new Call of Duty game. I played the new Call of Duty game, but I have not purchased the new Call of Duty game. So, therefore. I'm gonna have to wait and it sucks and I heard that like the first uh, the first uh, half of it when everybody was getting to play their game that the uh, the server kind of like disconnected on them and they had to wait into like a little bit later to play the game so there was that issue so I'm kind of in a point where I'm glad that I didn't buy the game at this time. But it's like now everybody's going to get like that head start. So kind of sucks. Or are you playing the new uh, Call of Duty mobile game? I'll be getting it a little later, but now we're... Mm. So I'll be pretty experienced in it. I heard about an all-night vision mode, which is pretty cool. Ah, uh, I mean... Yeah. See, 
got into the new Call of Duty mobile game, but the thing was, I don't like how it is played a little bit. I kind of wish I could use like an actual controller to move the controls around because it just it just seems pretty stupid how the controls are. It kind of makes it seem like it's it's a beta to the actual official. It's like it's, the game is not even complete. Like they don't have like an option to switch over to control like a controller setting for that mobile game because I feel like that mobile game is more meant to have a controller intimate like applied to that particular game because I can't see yes. that game as it's as a standalone game <clears throat> um, what other games things oh and that was, that was another reason why I still haven't bought any games too on top of that I still want to get me a, a uh, what is it a uh, a capture card I was gonna give me a capture card for the so I could be streaming on the switch and recording Ooh, on the switch. Be interesting. yeah because I needed a Elgato capture card and the thing is it costs like a good amount of money to buy a set capture card. I already downloaded the software for the capture card. I Barry is jumping into card. a black hole. I'm sorry for interrupting you right now. <laughs> but yeah, so I downloaded the software for the capture card. I just need the Elgato capture card. And that's gonna cost me about like a good hundred and forty five dollars to buy. So, I also gotta save money for that particular item, and that's what sucks. But it is what it is with that item. Um, but I don't know when to buy it, but I need to buy it by the time that I do get the new Pokemon game. So, and that means everybody's gonna be eventually playing the new Call of Duty game and I'll be like left behind yes so there's that and knowing the fact that Didn't the new Call of Duty game is crossplay so that's another thing mm, crossplay yeah, I've been playing it. it on the phone and it's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. Pretty fun. No, I mean the the modern warfare. Okay. Oh, it's crossplay with Xbox and PlayStation and PC. Let's go. So I mean, it's good. I, I want to play it. It's good, but again, like I said. I have to wait. I'm gonna have to wait for a pretty good amount of time for everybody. So to that means if it's crossplay, me and you will be able to play against each other. I'm hoping, maybe. Hmm. Interesting. If it goes very well, hopefully, maybe, just maybe, huge maybe. They have Ralph Digby in another show. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I gotta watch it just because of him. I love that guy. <gasps> and zombies. I love zombies. Oh, I they they sold me. I'm sorry for interrupting. It's just because I'm watching the Flash again. I'm sorry. Ray.